What's going on gamers and tech fans? Elric here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel bringing you guys an unboxing and first look at the CM Storm Quick Fire Rapid Keyboard. Now this thing features Cherry MX bronze keys, has a lot of cool features and is actually very small. So it doesn't have the little keypad to the side. So it's perfect for those gamers who are on the go or just want something smaller on their desk. So let's jump over to the damn desk and let's look at this thing. All right, folks, so here we have the box and for any good unboxing, I guess I better pull out the tool. What's that for? Oh, that's right. I guess I don't need that. All right, then. Never mind. So here we have it, folks. The CM Storm Quick Fire Rapid Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Medium resistance force feedback bump on the Cherry MX Brown. Oh, you know what, folks? I guess I was wrong on my introduction. I thought these were the bronze switch ones. This actually is the Cherry MX Brown. My apologies. My bad. All right. So let's move on. Flip it around to the back right here. Mechanical Cherry MX switches. N key rollover in PS2 mode. Extra keycaps bundle with the keycap puller, this little tool, which I'll admit the very first time I ever seen it, I had no idea what it was. <laughs> Anyways, says has removable braided USB cable with cable routing, which means you can probably unplug the cable, move it all around. Once again, we see the features. Mechanical Cherry MX switches. Windows key disabled in game mode. Extra keycaps bundle with keycaps puller. Laser marked keycaps. Anti-ghosting. Necro in PS2 game mode, 1000 megahertz, 1 megahertz response time in USB mode, multimedia shortcuts, rubber coated keyboard surface, removable braided USB cable with cable routing, and the dimensions are 356.6 by 135.5 by 30, and the weight is 940 grams. So with that said, let's actually unbox this thing and see what it's all about as far as its look. So little tab right here. Get that out of there. Now, I don't know if any, a lot of you folks out there have actually used mechanical keyboards. They're a lot different than your standard keyboard. They have a lot different feel. They're very old school. If you guys like the old IBM keyboards where you punch and you click, these are the ones you want. So here is the user's guide. Here's the keyboard. Let's see the accessories. Here is the USB to PS2 connector right there. You can plug that little bad boy in the back of your computer if you have an old school computer and don't have the new stuff. Here go the extra keys and the key puller. You've got Cooler Master stuff on here. The one thing I do think is cool is that when you go into gaming mode, it disables all the Windows keys so you don't actually hit that Windows button. Your whole game get all freaked out like the old days. I think that's a pretty good thing to have. Let me go ahead and bop this out. Here is the gold plated cable. See, gold plated on each end. Go ahead and move that stuff out of the way. And let's get to the keyboard itself. Go ahead and pop this open. Kaboom! This thing's really kind of trippy feeling. You can carry it around quite a bit. It's actually industrious feeling. It feels very tough. It doesn't feel like I could break it very easily. Nope, it's a tough ass keyboard. That's for damn sure. Now, Let's flip it around the back. Got a couple little pop things right here. Here's where they talked about their management of the cable. That's really hard to see, but underneath right here is where the cable plugs in. And you can route your cable either through this side or that side, however you want to do it. Flip this bad boy around. Get down to the table here. Let's take a look at the keyboard itself. Now you notice it's missing the 10 keypad that's over here. Not a lot of people use that. As you guys can hear, as I'm clicking, all of the keys make noise, which hints what it's about. Let me put this here and actually see how this feels to me. The responsiveness feels good. I won't know until I actually plug it in and use it a little bit. You can see all your other keys are up here. Nothing very fancy, just all simply laid out. You got these keys right here, which you can see could be changed out with those other ones that they had in there. You can pop the little keys out and use them. You still have your directional keys here, your delete key and all that stuff. All right, folks. So here we see this thing. Now the quick fire rapid is supposed to be a very portable, ultimate little mechanical gaming keyboard. Now, as far as you can see, you can see it fits in my hand very easily. So it's easy to carry around. The cable management should be pretty decent. Now, if you like mechanical keyboards, then you're gonna like this. If you're one of those people who likes a membrane type thing, you're not going to. So I hope that you guys like this video. If so, please hit the like button. We have lots of stuff going on, including giveaways and other stuff going on. So please subscribe to the channel. You know, I always appreciate that. 
If you guys are interested in buying one of these yourselves and have an interest in mechanical keyboards, then please take a look in the link in the description below where you guys can pick one of these up for yourself and you guys can give me your opinion on what you think. I'm Elark and I'll see you guys back here on the Tech and Amar YouTube channel.